Hey, what's up guys? This is the interesting JavaScript library of the week series. I am Nitej and in this third episode, I will show you a JS library which can be used to move the user's focus around a web page which is suitable for creating tours of features and functionality. That library is driver.js. You must have seen for many websites when you first create a new account on them. They present to you a kind of tour to guide you how to get started with using the features and functionality. These kinds of tours can either be in the step-by-step -step format or in no particular order. Whatever the case may be, if you are in need of creating such a tour of your app for users in a web page, then you can use driver.js to do that in a variety of different ways. Driver.js is free to use and comes with MIT license. It is easy to install and provides many useful features when it comes to creating interactive website tours. This library can be installed in one of three ways. Either install it using npm with the command npm install and then driver.js or we can include it in the web page using its CDN URL or we can download the JavaScript and CSS files and then include them in our projects. Remember that you will need both the JS and the CSS files when you are including them in your web page. Apart from creating the usual tools, we can also use driver.js to highlight any specific HTML element and block the rest of the UI by showing a translucent black background. The highlighting of HTML elements can be complemented with additional decorators like tooltip popovers and popover descriptions which are in the HTML format. Let's now see some of the different ways in which we can use driver.js. Alright, so this is Bootstrap's free admin template and I will be using this template to show you three different examples in which we can use the driver.js to first highlight any specific HTML element and then later to create a kind of a tour of features and functionality which is available in this application. So this is Visual Studio Code and the first example which I will show you is how to highlight a single element. Suppose that we want to highlight this primary card element in this web page. To do that first we will need to create a new driver object by calling its constructor and then we need to call driver.highlight function and then we need to provide the ID of the element which we need to highlight. You can now see that this primary card section is being highlighted and when I will click on this translucent background then this highlight will be removed and we will be returned to the normal web page viewing. Highlighting any single element is very useful in diverting the attention of the user to any specific element. The second way in which we can use driver.js is to again highlight an element but this time show a popover tooltip along with that highlighted element so that the users can see why are we highlighting this element and what this entire thing is about. To do that, first create a new driver object by calling its constructor. Like before, we need to call driver.highlight but this time instead of providing an ID of any element, we are going to provide an object which is going to have some properties as options. One of those properties is going to be the element and this property will have the ID of the element which we want to highlight and then there will be another property which is going to contain an object as its value. This object is going to have the title and the description of the popover tooltip which we want to display along with the highlighted element. This is how the highlighted element will be shown. Now we can remove this highlight by either clicking on the translucent background or we can click on this close button on the tooltip and the highlight will be removed. So this is also a pretty good way in which we can divert the attention of the user to any specific element. And then we can also show the description in the form of a popover tooltip about what this highlight is all about and why we have done it. The third example which I will show you is going to be the kind of a tour of features which you guys see whenever you create a new account on any website. What happens is for users which are not really aware of how the application works and what are the different features and functionalities, what we normally do is we create a kind of a tour for new users. This tool can be a kind of a step by step system in which individual elements will be highlighted and the user will see the stuff which they can do around in that website. For this web page to implement the tour of features, I'm going to highlight some elements one by one. The user will be able to click on the next button on the popover tooltip to switch to the next highlighted element. To do that, first create a new driver object by calling its constructor. Next thing that we need to do is to define the steps. The steps are going to be the sequence in which we will highlight individual elements. So suppose first we will highlight this primary card and then we will highlight this area chart and then finally we will highlight this bar chart section. So the steps are going to be first there will be the primary card then there will be the area chart example and then there will be the bar chart example. To implement those steps we need to call driver.define steps. This function is going to accept an array. 
Now each step is going to be an object and the properties in those objects are going to provide the information about the ID of the element which we want to highlight in each step. And then we will need to provide a class name which we want to use for the popover. We can then use the title of the popover, the description and then we can also provide the position where we want to place that popover tooltip. For example, for the first element, we can define the step like this. We can provide the element ID and then we can provide the popover tooltip information like its class name, its title, its description and its position. Similarly, we can define the steps for next elements which we want to highlight for the tour of features which we want to create for the users. So for this example, first the primary card will be highlighted, then the user can switch to the next element by clicking on the next button on the popover tooltip. Then this area chart will be highlighted and then finally this bar chart will be highlighted. Now to start this tour, all we need to do is to call driver.start and this will start the tour of features on our web page. So you can see that this is the first element which is being highlighted right now and the tooltip contains several buttons like the close button, the next button and the previous button. When we will click the next button on this tooltip then the next element will be highlighted in this tour of features and again clicking on next will move this highlighted selection to the next element and then when we will click on done then this tour will be finished and this is how we can easily set up a tour of features for the new users using this library which is driver.js. These were just some basic examples about the usage of driver.js. If you want to explore more then be sure to open up its documentation or its source hosted on github and explore further. And that is everything this episode has to offer about driver.js. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you will like it. If you do then please be sure to place a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to the CodeFirst channel for more such videos. I am Nitej and I hope that we will meet again. Till then take care of yourselves and have a great time.